Here's a quick demonstration of how to use the newest version of the Adaptive View software instrument. First thing you do is you open up the program and you click on this turn on turn off button. That should hopefully turn on your webcam and all your drivers will work and they'll show up on the screen. Next thing you do is you'll click on a point of your face for it to track and we usually go with the tip of the nose and then at this point we have to choose what mode we want to use and the two ones we're mostly focusing on are the keyboard mode and the four-way drum mode. Uh, the keyboard mode is pretty simple to do. You turn it on by clicking this green button right here and then it's not going to make a sound until you actually choose a scale. How about a blue scale and a key. So now if I move within this box I can go up and down the scale and it won't make sound outside the box. Uh, depending on the child's abilities you can make this really large or really small. Uh, the other mode we have is this four-way drum mode. So we click on the green dot here and what this is going to do is allow us to play a different drum in each quadrant. Uh, the first thing you have to do when you play in this mode is go up to this open sound folder button and this will open up a f open folder dialog and what you want to do is choose the sound folder that I supplied. This one uh, has four drum sounds. And then down here, you get to choose which drums go where. So if I want a kick drum in the upper left, I select kick on this one. And now if I go up here, it has the kick drum sound. So I can put in drums for all the other parts. And what we found uh, so far is that this, this middle area that's neutral that doesn't play sounds is sort of an advanced feature that we haven't really taught the children yet. So I tend to turn it all the way down so it's just four lines that they have to go with. And it's a little easier for them to work with. And maybe the more advanced students later on will work with this neutral area or we'll have a different interface. Anyways, just some minor tips before I finish this video. Depending on the lighting situation, you may want to have the stylus that we use to operate the tablet on hand at all times and just sort of every 30 seconds or so just tap on their nose just to make sure you're following it. If it's a student, if it's a child that moves a lot, you might need to do that or if it's someone like Jeffrey whose head goes down a lot and it uh, loses his the point on his face. Other points you can try are the eyes. The eyes fall pretty well, especially in the rehab center do the lighting and maybe even parts of the forehead. Uh, hopefully that should give you enough info to run the demonstration on Wednesday.